Kuzisam Kola. Namaste, good morning to all respected online viewers. Long do their majesties, long do our leaders and long do our friendship. Welcome to this online yoga workshop Embassy of India, Pimpu ICCS, Nehru Wangchuk Culture Center. Yoga teacher, I'm KV Assassin Murthy here. My sincere praise to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties in the whole Bhutan. Uh, coming to the today's practice session today, we have a very simple but useful practice session. So anyone can adapt today's uh, yoga schedules towards their self-yoga practices. So we are starting now. Uh, from the sun salutations we are starting so because of time concern I'm doing only one round and also I'm adding only 10 seconds in every yoga pose So if you have more time in your home, you can extend the timing of the yoga pose and also you can extend the repetitions So coming to the practice session if possible throughout the practice try to be in the prayerful mode And here we have chantings and recitations uh, and mantra chanting Okay, now keep your both the arms stretch wider and lift the arms up and come to Pranam Asana above to the head Kailasha Mudra then slowly bring your Kailasha Mudra at your chest region called Anahata Pranam Asana Om Hiran Mayena Patrena Satyasya Pihitam Mukham Tatvam Pushan Apavrunu Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Hram Hrim Hrum Hraim Hrom Raha Mitra Rabisurya Bhanu Kagapushna Hiranya Garbha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha and open the arms forward wide the hands lift the arms up hasta uttanasan from here once completely pull yourself up and from here slight or medium back bend called ardha chakrasan or ardha chandrasan again come back to normal so when you have severe health issues called blood pressure uh, fluctuations or heart troubles or facial organs or skull problems or uh, dizziness or giddiness or lower back issues or neck issues try to avoid all level of forward bends even in your household works so reminding people come to Pada Hasta Asan or standing forward bending posture or head to toe posture so completely push your body down try to push your head closer to the knees and stay and push your right leg as back leg called Aswa Sanchalanasan or hearts riding posture press your abdomen uh, with your front folded leg thigh and knee and lift your chin up elevate your throat so this is very simple but useful practice for leg stretchings for pelvic stretch for throat stretching especially for thyroid region health so back leg straight on the toes back leg knee up against the gravity we are practicing now dandasan or santulanasan balancing posture or it is also a kind of anti-gravity pose when you have uh, severe uh, spinal cord issues avoid this kind of anti-gravity exercises and coming to the uh, plank style or santulan asan few seconds is stable so in fact this is a good posture to strengthening arms and legs and also good posture in turning of abdominal region and now coming to asta anga namaskar asan or sasta anga namaskar asan few seconds is stable try to put your uh, chin or forehead on the floor and chest two palms and knees and toes on the floor and stable for a while this is also a resting posture for the lower back and push your body forward lift the body up like a C wave called uh, lifted head cobra posture or bujangasan and also this is a simple effective posture in management of lower back pains and neck pains and our next posture will be a mountain posture or parvatasan and this is also comes under semi inverted posture and semi uh, forward bending posture so try to avoid if you have health related complications and push your body inside put your heels on the ground and stay for a while and same right leg must come forward press your alternative part of the abdomen and few seconds stay and now back leg straight on the toes back leg knee up against the gravity then slowly move your uh, leg forward coming to the same father hastasan once completely push yourself and stable and lift your arms and the body up called hasta uttanasan 
again once completely pull up and slight or medium back bend called ardha chakrasan or ardha chandrasan again come back to normal pranamasan about to the head then slowly bring your pranamasan at your chest level called anahata pranamasan and after once comes to the breath normalize then slowly with breath coordination lift the arms up with inhalation exhalation wide the arms turn them then slowly get back to normal all right lock your both the arms back get few seconds break all right so to do uh, sun salutations are to do remaining yoga poses if participants want to perform to build the mood or to create the mood you can put your background sound omkar or you can put any of the traditional music okay coming to the practice session regular poses and our first exercise called garudasan or uh, eagle posture so that is a posture of one way it is a kind of uh, balancing posture and uh, it it will comes under uh, intermediate posture so when people having thigh issues or knee knee issues or any other bone related complications related to hands or legs try to avoid doing or you can choose a uh, proper way of practices while using the props so now this time put your body in uh, position pre position or samasthiti all right now keep move your right leg forward then slowly wrap your right leg on the left leg then few seconds is stable and now keep your body straight and now put your concentration and, and awareness uh, uh, any of the article in front of you and above leg side means right hand should go up left hand should go down and wrap your both the arms you can catch your above hand wrist or you can interlock your fingers also but be very convenient and confident whatever angle you will make and stay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 then very slowly get back to normal both the arms down rest your leg and relax your leg all right slightly wider the legs and few seconds maintain your uh, like pre position or somewhat relaxation posture and coming to samasthiti again pre position or prarambha sthiti and this time left leg should come forward and slowly wrap and tight your leg and try to properly keep your toes in proper position of your uh, right legs especially below part of the calf region then your above leg is your left leg so lift your left hand then try to wrap your right arm from under then catch it properly and stable 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then slowly get back to normal rest your both the arms and relaxation then slowly keep move your right leg out and left leg out rest for a while then coming to next exercise so that will comes under slightly advanced posture when you have uh, any disc complaints or low, above back complaints avoid this kind of training so that is that is a practice of adi sesha asan or standing serpent posture standing serpent posture uh, uh, like uh, the approach what we are doing is somewhat advanced posture so try to be aware of your uh, physical fitness so right keep your back straight take a deep inhalation exhalation coming to samasthiti then keep open your both the arms then lift your both the arms up so once completely like push yourself up then after that turn your palms right then after that try to keep your both the palms like a foot of a snake then while bending the body back and uh, try to observe your convenience and balancing then stable again slowly get back to normal rest your both the arms and wider the arms and relaxations
so basically this kind of uh, back bends will definitely improve the uh, flexibility at the total spinal cord level and also it will be helpful to do remaining advanced postures like Purna Vustrasan or Purna Dhanurasan or Oval Posture or Standing uh, Chakrasan, so remaining back bends. Okay, take a deep inhalation. So our next posture will be somewhat forward bending so that when you have uh, like a head level complications or neck level complications, so try to avoid this kind of training. So this is what we call the chair posture variation or uh, Siro Janus Parsa Utkhatasan. So basically it is a variation in chair posture. So keep your position straight called Samasthiti and check the breath and dress and mat and especially check your convenience before doing any yoga pose. Instead of looking for rights or wrongs or instead of looking for alignment, try to always be with your self pace of doing. Alright, and now take a deep pause Then after that interlock your both the arms back of the body. Alright, now slowly bend your both the legs. Then try to lift your both the arms, push your body down, try to put your chin or forehead on the knees and stay. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then slowly get back to normal, lift your chin and head, again come back. Then soon after that lock your hands back, again few seconds break. Now coming to next posture called Parivrutta Trikona Asan or Revolved Triangular Posture. So that is also required some of the uh, legs, uh, strength the legs so that when you have complications at the knees or thighs or pelvic deal or hand level or spinal cord level, avoid doing or you can use proper way of props when you know uh, how to use props. So right now this time as a first priority, as a first priority, create a big distance between your both legs. Okay, second priority you can choose as per your convenient pace. So this time we have many leg, uh, like uh, uh, angles, but here I am turning the right leg to the right side. And now this time wider the arms to the side stretch and slowly bend the body forward. Then slowly move your left hand till your right leg ankle or at the floor level. Then try to rotate the above arm along with the head and few seconds to stay now. In fact, this is a good training for hamstring muscle stretch and leg stretch and also especially for the people who are having diabetes or obesity complaints. Uh, this is one of the fine postures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then slowly get back to normal. Relax your both the arms. Turn your right leg straight and finally get back to normal. So in one posture we can create many other variations or sub variations or angles. It's up to the participants strength level and participate, uh, participants creative levels. Okay, once coming to the samasthiti again, come to the balancing, balance your breath and check your mat and dress and check the convenience. And same exercise opposite side called parivrutta trikonasan and here wider the legs as a first priority big distance between your both the legs. Turn your left leg to the left side, then widen the arms to the side stretch. Now slightly bend the body forward and slowly drive your right hand till your left leg ankle. You can catch your ankle or you can put your right hand on the floor also. But here turn your above hand and look up while uh, without bending the knees. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Alright, then slowly get back and rest your both the arms and turn your legs straight. Then get back to normal and here both the legs together once resting the arms. Alright, now again coming to Samasthiti, so here we have another variation in the Pisian style, Parshva Kapotasan or partial uh, or side stretching of the uh, Dao posture. 
So that is a practice related to hip muscle squeezing and knee bending. So try to avoid when you have any complications at the related organs. So coming to the samasthiti pre position. Then this time keep wide your right leg slightly out and after that lift your right leg, catch your right ankle with the right hand. See your knee must be point to the uh, floor. Then after that with your elbow support try to lift your leg up and catch your both the hands and few seconds is stable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten then get back to normal relax your legs and few seconds break. And now slowly coming to samasthiti so we are not creating that big time in between yoga pose to yoga pose as a resting schedule uh, so because of if, if participants will do this yoga activity in a row of practices they will not feel bored and now coming to samasthiti then here also slightly wide your legs and especially left leg fold and try to see your knee should point to the ground then after that at the toe level catch your toes with your with your left hand then slowly lift your toes with the elbow support and with the alternate arm few seconds try to put a posture and one two three four five six seven eight nine and then okay get back to normal relax your legs and few seconds break So to create uh, next postures, I'm requesting my video technician so slightly change the camera angle to the right side or left side. For the next posture, Supta Vajrasan, uh, when you have knee complications or thigh complications or hip girdle issues, avoid this kind of training. So first coming to regular Vajrasan or Thunderbolt posture or uh, diamond shaped posture. And this is also a kind of meditative posture and especially this is only one eligible posture soon after you are eating you can be in this posture. It is also meant for, for good digestion. Then here we are practicing that next exercise called Supta Vajrasan or resting thunderbolt posture. Then here in between the legs create a slight gap for only adjusting. Then after that try to keep your uh, right elbow on the ground, left elbow on the ground. Then slowly keep uh, rest your elbow back on the ground and uh, see your both the knees must come uh, on the ground and few seconds is stable. And so in fact uh, this is also a good posture in management of lower back and mid back pains especially desk operators, housemakers, so whoever uh, having this kind of uh, lower back, stiff lower back or uh, so lower back because of the work schedules or sports or games you can choose this kind of training instead of folding your legs you can put two pillows or three pillows also under your lower back and few seconds is stable one two so here we have many hand variations one is flat hands and one is open arms and second one is folded hands and last one is keeping the hands under the head so you can choose any of your favorite uh, arms arm angle but here basic posture will be the same like here we have to rest on the ground while doing the same Vajrasana called Supta Vajrasana. And while relaxation also then you can directly open the legs out to go to Shavasana or first coming to the uh, on the elbows stand the body and with the palm support slowly lift the body and relaxation. Then here slowly release your legs and relax. So here you can create butterfly movement or knee tense to create uh, blood circulation for the knees and the calves. So our next posture will be Supta Pada Angusta Asan or reclined big toe posture. So that is a kind of leg stretching. Uh, when you have complaints, the uh, hamstring muscle or tendons or ligaments in the legs or uh, if you have any other complications at the pelvic girdle or hip bone, so try to avoid it, those kind of training. Right, first coming to Shavasan or Cops posture. In between the legs, create a gap and widen the arms and few seconds resting. Mm -hmm. 
then slowly both the legs and hands together then this time fold your right leg then lift your bring your knee on the abdomen from the knee level don't disturb your leg and slowly lift your leg up to create extra grip you can catch your uh, thigh for a while then after that keep open your right hand till your right toes and try to put your left hand at the knee to keep your knee straight and throughout the practice observe that hamstring muscle stretch so that try to turn your toes inside towards your heart so that you can feel that that kind of pull at the uh, thigh muscle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then slowly release your arm then fold your arm and leg then get back to normal relaxation so in fact this kind of semi inverted posters or half inverted posters will definitely create uh, positive results in the blood flow uh, especially especially in the veins in the legs then slowly both the legs and hands together then this time fold your alternate leg so we are doing that reclined toe posture or supta padangusta asan so bring your knee on the abdomen then slowly kick your leg up then this time see your leg must be straightened then try to keep open your left hand till the toe and keep your right arm on the knee to keep your leg straightened or you can still press your thigh also but throughout the practice instead of point your toes towards the ceiling or sky uh, turn the toes down and stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine and right turn then slowly get back to normal relax your leg right stretch your both the legs again few seconds break relax your both the legs and hands so almost we are at the ending of this physical yoga posture so last two posters will be one is kandarasan or shoulder posture and also called as a bridge posture and our last two poster end with the back bending called uh, dhanurasan or bow posture both the legs and hands together fold your both the legs then in between the legs create a space and try to catch your ankles as a first priority or as a second priority you can keep your both the hands on the ground or still you can catch your both the hands under your hips also so choose any of your convenient arm angle then try to lift your total body up while turning your shoulders inside so try to see your body weight must come on your hands and shoulders and on the uh, foot so give uh, zero weight on the head level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and right stand then slowly get back to normal and rest your back wider your arms relax your body so here we have almost five to six different variations in the same uh, kandarasan you can choose any of your favorite uh, angle but only thing is uh, when you have neck complaints or shoulder complaints avoid this kind of training and also when you have severe high bp uh, condition avoid this kind of training so in fact this is a good poster in management of uh, lower back strains and above back strains then slowly both the legs together and stretch your both the legs and as a last poster we have dhanurasan or bow poster so that is also a good poster in management of abdominal organ disorders especially diabetes and sluggish liver and also constipation and also good poster for the back bending it is always good to end up your session with the back bends So right, both the legs and hands together. Take a deep inhalation, exhalation. All right. So now turn on the abdomen. In between the legs, create a space. First, coming to uh, like a kind of relaxation in this abdomen posture, also called uh, uh, crocodile resting posture or makarasan. wider the legs keep your heels inside toes outside and both the palms should come under your cheek and after that slowly both the legs and hands together keep your chin or forehead on the ground and in between the legs create a space and fold your right leg catch your right ankle 
fold your left leg as ankle with the same side hand and check your dress and check your convenience so you can catch your ankle neck or you can catch the toes or you can catch your foreleg also so according to your uh, convenience you can catch your legs with a good grip all right now try to lift your total legs up lift your head up be on the abdomen so once uh, you will be totally all right in this half lifted posture now try to still kick your legs up and lift your chin and stay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and all right then very slowly get back to normal rest your chin and complete relaxation then both the legs and hands together and turn towards your right side and fold your two knees and keep your one hand as a pillar in front of the chest second arm as a pillow under the head then after that with the uh, help of the limbs get up and sit back to normal then we have uh, pranayam practices so especially uh, in the yoga poses especially like bhujangasan or bow posture or any other variations related to the bow postures if you have severe uh, high bp issues avoid that kind of training and also if you have uh, like related bone related pains at the arms or at the legs try to avoid those kind of training but still you can do with the help of other props or still you can do aerial yoga or if you know well about the aqua yoga you can do aqua yoga also but take good advice from your yoga teacher who who knows all these kind of different schedules okay coming to the pranayam try to be in the convenient posture in lotus posture or any other meditative comfortable posture uh, as a first priority don't uh, don't jerk or move or shake your posture when doing pranayam but as a second priority when you have any unevenness or numbness or any other health related issues okay you can choose uh, moving in the uh, yoga pose so you can choose any convenient comfortable surface and few seconds focus on your breath so here also we have chanting and recitation when you are when you have traditional belief system to follow all these things please follow or follow only physical exercises so coming to the recitation om kesavay swaha om madhavay swaha om narayanaay swaha ಸಮಾಧಿತ್ಪಲಸಿಧ್ಯಸನಪೂರ್ವಕಾಣಾಯಮದೀಯ ಕರಿಷ್ಯೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೋಗ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಾರ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಫ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ while doing the practices towards the spiritual upliftment and we will get physical we will get a very good physical health we will get mental health and also we will get a social health also social health means it is a kind of emotional balance state or it's a kind of discipline uh, like through this simple yoga practices anyone can easily get the successful states physical state physical healthy state mental health state social health state and after that spiritual upliftment Uh, spiritual upliftment but the way how we are doing and whose guidance we are doing also very important so coming to the uh, today's practice session today also we have the same two practices one is kapalabhati bellows breathing uh, kapalabhati is a frontal brain cleaning technique and second one is sitkari pranayam or hissing breath uh, kapalabhati or bhastrika so after this rapid inhalations exhalations participants will receive a state of mind or state of practice called kavala kumbhaka or isolated breath retention that is a very important state especially after kapalabhati after bellows breath after bhastrika it is it is uh, it is our duty or responsibility to observe that state of mind where we don't require inhalations and exhalations according to the eminent science according to the uh, great textbooks it is also mentioned that that kavala kumbhaka or that uh, isolated breath retention state that will give a, a positive changes in the internal health and mental health and also all together it's a, it will be good go, like a good practice for the uh, to build immunity and to uh, bring longevity and to uh, to give many other uh, great benefits 
So coming to the Kapala Bhati, it is Kapala Bhati saying that Bastrava Loha Karasya Rechapura Sasam Brahma Kapala Bhati Vikyata Kapa Dosha Visoshini. Flum level uh, disorders will be totally eradicated from the body while doing this Kapala Bhati in a proper way. Here we have many variations in Kapala Bhati, but because of online beginners, I'm now doing very simple the practices of Kapala Bhati while doing medium pace of uh, stroke making. But when you have uh, high blood pressure or heart troubles, or uh, like a vertigo or any other health complications, don't try to pick up this kind of exercises without taking advice from your yoga teacher. And next important practice is uh, called the Sitkari Pranayam, especially in the summer seasons, especially for the people who are living in the uh, tropical regions, for them it's a very wonderful practice. But the only uh, thing is when you have uh, uh, like a, uh, any uh, teeth, ill health or mouth dryness or tonsillitis, ill health or respiratory tract infections, or lung infections or any other uh, complication related to fevers or related to cold or cough, repeated co cold or co cough or dysnophilia, don't pick up this kind of Sitkari Pranayam. Sitkari Pranayam saying that Yogini Chakra Saman Yaha Srusti Samhara Karakaha Nakshuda Natrusha Nidra Naiva Alasya Prajayati. Uh, by this attempt, whole body comes under the control of the practitioner and it will deepen the awareness of the mind, body and the soul and also this practice eliminates the indolences and the need and desire and the, uh, uh, like a, like a uh, the desire to eat, drink and sleep. And also it is a good pranayam in bringing sleep also but especially when you are like uh, before your bedding time you can do this kind of practices after taking advice from your yoga teacher in therapeutic way. So coming to the practice session, practice practicals are very simple than the theories. Uh, Kapala Bhati, we are practicing now. In a uh, single go, we are practicing 30 strokes. So position straight and come to the stroke making, stroke making, breathe out and stroke less, breathe in. Then starting one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and last counts, 10, and few seconds break. So in this break time, try to cover the practice called Kavala Kumbhaka or isolated breath retention. And now coming to Sitkari Pranayam, that is a kind of pranayam while using mouth for inhalations, uh, while using uh, like breathe out, we are using nose so that when you are doing these practices in your home, try to see your external environment, it should be pure and clean. Alright, keep your back straight and keep your both the jaws together and open the lips and keep a small gap in between the like jaws and take inhalation from the edges of the teeth. and slowly breathe out with the nose. Again, slowly breathe in. Again, breathe in. Fourth count, breathe in. And fifth count, breathe in. The 
and again a short gap and in mudra training so we have uh, hridaya mudra or heart gesture so basically this kind of uh, exercises which will be comes to the mudras while using the arms it, it will always uh, improve the concentration levels and also in acupressure system it will improve the physical health also and this mudras divert the flow of prana from the hands to heart area and also it improve the vitality of the heart and this mudra will acts as a circuit of life energy as a uh, like a, it, it acts like a energizer of the heart and also this mudra helps to uh, release the uh, pent up emotions which will unbud in the heart and also uh, please remember it may be a practices during uh, emotional crisis and emotional uh, conflicts we can do this this kind of simple simple practice uh, practices and the people who are doing meditations or pujas or rituals for them if they if their hands are empty they can put this kind of simple mudras to give more alertness to the body and the mind so open your two arms forward and uh, try to fold your index finger at the bottom part of the thumb and close your mid finger and ring finger towards your thumbs uh, tip of the thumb and press them and keep out your little finger and put your both the palms on the knees and stable here few seconds focus at your eyebrow center or at your breath or at your mudras Then after that, then slowly release your practices and withdraw from your all practices and come to the Hamasthiti again. So soon after your yoga practices, it is advised to give 5 minutes to 10 minutes time to take yoga nidra or power nap or to put yourself into the mode of silence. Immediately it will regenerate the body and it will rest the total body and the mind. So uh, based on the uh, practice schedule, based on the strength level in the practices, it is advised to give uh, uh, 15 minutes to half an hour time after your yoga practices, 15 minutes to half an hour time to take bath and further 10 minutes time to take breakfast. This timing totally depend on the individual capabilities. In the afternoon, uh, as a first priority, before your lunch, try to, uh, try to activate uh, the practices in the form of uh, yoga nidra or in the form of power nap or in the form of uh, silence. Uh, basically, these kind of exercises will improve the physical health, mental health and it will improve the focus levels and it will improve the concentration. Altogether, it will improve the productivity from you and also it is good for the decision making. And in the evening, uh, before your dinner, try to see uh, half an hour yoga practices which will involve back bending exercises, leg stretching, inversion postures, uh, strength training techniques. In the last, you can adapt this short time resting technique. So basically, uh, evening physical body is very flexible than the compared to the morning physical body. So try to take the, that advantage from the body, especially in the evenings. And thanking you all for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Tomorrow when we are meeting here at the same place with the same content, we will see still more good yoga practices. Tomorrow, our yoga practices more over on the uh, leg stretches. So uh, uh, stay away from the bad habits, but do yoga also. Thanking you all.